Hey, I'm Bergen Nelson with John Deere. I'm a go-to-market manager for Harvesting Equipment. Tyler Zim with RDO, product manager. So we're at Commodity Classic here. Uh, let's talk through some of the new stuff that we've got from the harvest perspective. Yeah, so at Commodity Classic, we're introducing some new features, building a pound. Building a pound will be launched in model year 25. So predictive ground speed automation in 2026, we're bringing in weed detection. So those cameras can sense how many weeds are in the field at the time of harvest, and we can speed up and slow down the machine based off uh, the amount of weeds. We'll also provide a weed pressure map into Operations Center for customers. Another feature we're building upon is harvest settings automation. So adding in a new feature called out of crop settings adjustment. And so as a combine exits the field or exits a pass, we'll automatically change those settings to make sure we're capturing and keeping all the grain in the combine. And also with productive ground speed, you guys have added a couple new crops. Is that correct? We did. We ended up uh, adding lentils and peas, and then we have limited support from for a couple additional crops. Okay. And staying on combines, we now have auto unload. Could you give us a yeah. little update on that? So more automation for combines, introducing auto unload. So that'll be available this summer or in model year 26. But that system is adding a camera to the unloading auger. And uh, so building upon machine sync, once that grain cart is synced up to the combine, the camera will take over and it'll automatically move the cart forward and backwards to fill the cart completely. And then the grain cart driver can disengage from machine sync and go unload on a semi. Sure. And then the next piece is the grain cart. So now we have weight sharing, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, that's a nice addition too. Been really popular at the show, grain harvest weight sharing. So depending on what grain cart a customer owns, whether it has a scale head like Digistar or Scale Tech or Unreferth, we can uh, tap into that through a harness through John Deere and bring that weight into the G5 or Gen 4 display. So the grain cart operator can see the live weight um, while the combine is unloading into the grain cart but that weight is also visible in the display of the combine. And then if a semi driver wants to know how much weight is on the grain cart coming to him to make sure they're hauling a legal load, they can look on their Op Center mobile app and see live weight of what the grain cart has. Okay, I think the last thing I'd like to touch on is behind us here we have the Harvest Lab 3000. That is something that isn't typically on a combine. Yeah, so That's very true. Typically the Harvest Lab 3000 is found on our forage harvester, uh, used to sense moisture and NDF, ADF, but now we're bringing that to our, our, our combine. So it'll be available for X9 or S7 combines. And it is a, uh, capable of sensing protein. So if a customer is harvesting wheat and they want to segregate their wheat based off of protein, they'd be able to do that with the data that the Harvest Lab 3000 captures on the combine. Well, thank you so much for sharing some of the updates. I appreciate you. it.